Weddings should be memorable, but not for the groom's lack of style. That's why our friends at the Black Tux rents suits and tuxedos that you'll love wearing at your wedding. So if you wind up getting featured on a list of 23 epic wedding fails, or say your reception table catching fire, your DJ playing, let's get it on during the father-daughter dance, at least you know you'll look good for your close-up. Listen, guys stress about weddings too. Me, I've never been married, but I've had to rent quite a few bad tuxes in my day. Those rental stores, they're just renting you a penguin costume for the day. It's uncomfortable, it never looks right, and that giant bow tie, that's got to go. It's a big day, you got to have some style, so go to theblacktux.com. Check out their tuxes. Let me tell you, now you're dressing in style. They've even got a groom's guide with helpful tips for the groom who might be feeling a little overwhelmed by the whole getting married thing, if you know what I mean. But the best part about the Black Tux is that they have an easy online ordering process that brings your suit or tuxedo straight to you. Just pick a style at theblacktux.com and request a free home try-on so you can feel the fit and quality before you commit. And if online isn't your style, they have showrooms all over the country where you can find your fit and plan your look. From there, they'll ship your order two weeks before your wedding so you can check it out one last time. Talk about commitment. Over 5,000 five-star reviews across Wedding Wire, The Knot, and their own website. They all agree you won't find another rental experience or designs like the ones you'll find at The Black Tux. Grooms, if you want your wedding to be remembered for the right reasons, visit theblacktux.com slash listen. That's theblacktux.com slash listen for $20 off your purchase. Walk, don't run to theblacktux.com slash listen to find a look for you and your crew. Theblacktux.com, formal wear for the moment. It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute episode 364. In today's episode, overstock to ditch retail for crypto. Here's one of the weirdest stories of the year. Attention grabbing overstock is in the spotlight again. Its CEO wants to invest in crypto ventures. One of the largest online retailers overstock is leaving e-commerce. The retailer is struggling with heated competition from Amazon. Founder and CEO Patrick Byrne is selling the entire business this coming February and going all in on crypto. Byrne hasn't discussed buyers or the sales value. He stated that he wants to invest in blockchain and cryptocurrency startups. With $175 million invested in subsidiary Medici Ventures, Overstock subsidiary isn't paying off well. Medici lost $22 million in 2017, and this year they lost $39 million. Medici is a pet project for Byrne, which he started in 2014, and he's yet to return a profit on his $175 million investment. Overstock is a Salt Lake City-based company that started in 1999 and served as a way to liquidate merchandise and sell surplus and returned items. The business ventured into kitchen appliances, clothing, jewelry, bedding, and home goods. In 2011, they made an announcement they would rebrand from Overstock to O.co. By 2014, they started accepting Bitcoin as a currency for merchandise. Despite the announcement to allow Bitcoin transactions through Overstock, shares dropped. A concern is Overstock's price fluctuations correlate to that of Bitcoin's. Another concern is Burns' ability to lead the retailer through the self-reinvention. Trading fluctuations with Bitcoin and the market capitalization aren't consistent, and Burns is scaling himself pretty thin. With Medici, one of his investments, T0, still hasn't launched publicly. When asked about the trading system startup, Burns stated, I don't care whether T0 is losing $2 million a month. We think we've got cold fusion on the blockchain side, whatever that means. <laughs> Bitcoin has a first mover advantage, but it's a risky move investors can't gauge. Burns' plans with Overstock may prove futile given Bitcoin's high volatility. Seasoned investors are cautious. They want to give crypto and blockchain sectors more time for consistent growth. Customers may likely split between Amazon and Walmart for available online deals, but shareholders may need to hold on for a bumpy ride. This is just weird. This is the most bizarre thing ever. Why would you ditch retail for crypto? Like, I get it, but cryptocurrency is so volatile. It's crazy. Like, last year it was 30,000 for Bitcoin. Now it's like, I mean, not 30,000, but it was some crazy numbers. And now it's like December, it was around 20. Right. Of the reading of this podcast, it's at 4,000. Right. So, like, what? Why would you? That makes no absolute sense. I, here's the thing cryptocurrency, whatever. Um, Blockchain makes sense because it's a great technology for a lot of reasons. But I just don't understand the cryptocurrency thing. I don't get it either. I, uh, this guy is so into it that like he's literally shooting himself in the foot. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. Like, doesn't Overstock make money? They're a public company. Like, what? Yeah, I mean, I listen, I mean, I, I understand that Overstock is like, you know, their e-commerce you know, business and, and they might have, you know, their biggest competition is obviously Amazon, Walmart and those guys. But that's just, just silly. 
I think it's a silly thing. I just don't. And it, he's got these other ventures going that don't seem to be paying off. So he's going to take, he's going to take his money and just put it all into crypto. That is just, yeah. Like, why would you, it makes no sense. I just don't understand. Like we're so baffled by this. I mean, guys, if somebody can explain this to us, please email us. Yeah, I, I would love I would love a plain English explanation as to what this guy is thinking. Like maybe he's playing five D chess and we just don't see it because I'm just I'm not getting this one at all. Yeah, you can either fill out a form or in our uh, e commerce minute dot co or just email us at info at or hello at sumo heavy. Yeah, we'd love to hear from someone who can maybe uh, enlighten us to this whole crypto bizarro story here with Overstock. Uh, I don't really have anything to add to this. You know, again, I you. You could hear that I was having trouble just reading the story because it's just so bizarre. Yeah. I mean, I'm in the, huh? Uh, uh-huh. All right. Nothing to add to this one. Uh, as Bart said, you can find full show notes at our website, ecommerceminute.co. If you want to get in touch with us, you can hit us up on social media at Sumo Heavy just about everywhere or send us an email at hello at sumoheavy.com. Bart, do you have anything to add? No, that's it, my friend. All right. That's your ecommerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.